Bridgeport Police Chief is speaking out for the first time since an officer involved shooting over the weekend. Investigators released the body camera video and we'll warn you this is difficult to watch. News 8's Kent Pierce has more. It took about five seconds for Huntley Jackson to lunge at a Bridgeport police officer with a knife and for another officer to shoot him twice in the torso. Jackson is now in stable condition. Police officer Marie Setti was stabbed in the head, neck, and shoulder. The officer who was injured, she was released from the hospital. Um, her injuries are okay. She's healing from those injuries. Um, they were non-life-threatening, and I don't believe they're going to be uh, long-lasting or impactful on her. Bridgeport's chief speaking out for the first time since the shooting early Saturday morning. He says the call was to help medics with an emotionally disturbed person who had not taken his meds. He says it was very similar to an incident at that house with Jackson two years ago. This is not the first time with this situation. This, this individual our officer had been there in the past, and um, um, it was a a violent situation in the past, the previous time that they were there as well. The chief says his officers acted professionally and followed their training, trying to de-escalate with their words first. Like many Connecticut cities, Bridgeport recently developed a civilian team to go out and work with people going through mental health crises. But the chief says because of the violent past of this individual, this call would not have been a good fit for them. Those teams are always good, but this is a situation where I don't think that would have been necessarily effective. Um, I just think that this person was at a point where um, it was going to involve some type of police actions or intervention. Chief Porter saying his prayers are with the Jackson family and he hopes they get the support they need. All four officers who were there are off the street right now. The Office of the Inspector General is now investigating. In Bridgeport, I'm Kent Pierce, News 8.